What's up guys, Creepy Kill Helps here, and I know it's been a while, but I decided to come back and, you know, help you guys out a little bit more. I do plan on sticking to a regular schedule. I'm hoping to get a couple videos out a week, about three or four videos a week. I, and then, I'm not going to try to upload daily. I, I mean, I'm going to try to, to my best ability, but for now, I'm going to just try to get three or four videos out a week. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a backpack in Minecraft 1.9. So if you guys haven't seen my first couple tutorials, I would recommend go checking those out so you guys aren't super clueless. Or if you guys know what you're doing, then just continue watching. So I'm just going to go and make a new Java project and just call it Backpacks. Alrighty, then once you do that, I am going to go ahead and go on my build path. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add me.creeperkilla21.backpacks. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and create my main class. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to... Uh, Alrighty, so now you guys see you guys have that. So, what you want to do from there is you want to go ahead and make a new uh, package. Alright, and then just call that config. If you guys didn't watch... Uh, I'm retarded, I made up. So there. I think I'm saying that right. Well, anyways, if you guys didn't watch my last video, go and check that out. I have a file manager that I use for easy configurations. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in now. I would really recommend going to see that uh, annotation on the screen right now, if I remember. So yeah, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, you, the, the other version doesn't have this language, why this is just something I have by default for when I'm making plugins for people, you know, I can just easily already have that. But in this case, you guys won't even need that. Alrighty. So, how I would recommend doing it is, so, uh, so first off, I'm just going to go ahead and start off by making a command. So, I'm going to go commands, and then I'm going to make a backpack command. Alright, so this is going to go ahead and implement command executor. Alright, so now, once you guys do that, you know, if you guys watch my command tutorial, you guys probably already know this, so I'm just going to go ahead and just skip through this process, so, uh, you know, yeah, uh, so after you have that, uh, you check this, then you want to check if they have permission, so, actually, wait, I haven't covered permissions yet. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and cover it in this video, make a separate video about them, specifically on permission, so I'm just going to do if sender dot has permission uh backpack dot use um so and then i'm gonna put uh an exclamation mark in the middle and then another little parenthesis the reason i'm doing this is because when you do this in java it defines it as so does this sender have permission but this means they don't have permission if you have this so right now this right here means they do not have the permission backpack.use. So you just want to send them a message. So sender dot send message chat color dot red. You do not have permission to do this, right? And then just return true. Second off, you want to check if they have. And I forgot another parenthesis here. And uh, second off, you want to check if they if the sender is a player. I, and the reason you want to do this because the console can't open up a GUI and put items in it. So this is why this is important. So if bracket sender, if, all right, so do the bracket, bracket, or parenthesis, parenthesis thing again, then put the exclamation mark in right there. And then you want to do if sender is instance of player. This means that they are not a player. And the only other thing that could not be a player is the console. So then you want to do sender dot send message chat color dot red you uh the console cannot do this then just return true all right then after that uh i'm just gonna go ahead and create a gui so pretty much what i'm gonna do is go up here and type file manager fm is equal to file manager dot get instance okay then i'm gonna create an inventory m is equal to bucket dot create inventory Right, and then you want to make this null inventory holder null. The int size. This is the size of the inventory. So I am gonna do. I don't know. Um, you know, 36. It's gonna be like a, a single chest, and then the chat color dot green plus space backpack. All right. 
and then import uh, org dot bucket dot inventory dot inventory. All right, now what you want to do is if fm dot get config dot contains. Uh, hold on, I need to make a player object. So player player is equal to bracket player sender, and of course I'm casting the player to a sender, which if I haven't talked about, I will. So uh, if config dot contains player player dot get name. Actually, I'm going to make this use UIDs dot get you uh, dot get unique ID dot to string. And the reason you want to use unique IDs so they can have name changes and all that sort of stuff. So then you want to do for string i, all right, colon fm dot get config dot get configuration section, and then you want to get player dot get unique ID dot to string, and then you want to do dot get keys false. What this does is it um pretty much loops through everything so okay uh, let me explain this to you uh, alright so let's say they have player alright so a uh, player alright so this is your unique ID alright so ID right and then under that ID you're gonna have one dot and then a bunch of item data and then you're gonna have two dot item data, three dot item data, and when you do get configuration section, then the player unique ID, it will return all of these. It will return one, two, and three. So, with the config or with the file configuration class that Bucket has provided, the Bucket API has provided, um, it has an item stack uh, serializer and deserializer in it. So, I can do this. Item stack item is equal to fm.getconfig.getitemstack then you want to do player.getuniqueid.toString plus space um, double quotes and then a period and then you want to do plus space i and pretty much this will return like let's say i is one and you want to go ahead and import um, I, item stack from org bucket inventory item stack and so pretty much what this does here is yeah it's pretty much pretty much so let's say i is one right because it's looping through this it would return whatever item stack is on this okay all right so then you want to do um i don't know m dot add item and then item okay pretty much this will add the item to the inventory and then you just want to do player dot open inventory and then m and then return true so this will open the inventory now you want to make a class for listeners so dot listeners or package for listeners and then you want to create a class and I'm gonna call this uh, player closed m okay this will be this will be called when the player closes an inventory so at, uh, at event <laughs> event handler public void on m close inventory close event e all right this will be called that so then you want to go ahead and copy the name of your inventory so mine is chat color dot green plus backpack so then i want to do string title is equal to e dot get inventory dot get title then i want to do if title um so pretty much do the you know what just do if title dot equals ignore case and then that um, is equal equal to false then return and the reason I do is equal equal to false is because you're checking if this is equal to this and that returns a boolean so it's either true or false so if this is false then I want to return because it's you know wrong because it's not the right inventory so now what I want to do is for uh, for int i is equal to zero semicolon i is less than or equal to uh what did we make it so we made it 36 so i want to do 35 because the how the inventory system works hold on let me pull something up here for you uh uh so pretty much how the inventory system works is it starts at zero as you can see and then it goes up so this yeah wait what I, yeah 
Okay, and my mistake before, that's 36 is not a double chest, it's, or not a single chest, it's uh, a chest with an extra thing. Uh, so yeah, so pretty much, you would do is less than or equal to 35, semicolon, I++. plus plus. And this is a basic for loop. So then what you want to do is item stack item is equal to, um, so pretty much, I'm going to do inventory m is equal to e dot get inventory. And then what you want to do from here on, import or out bucket inventory, and then an item stack also. And then what you want to do is uh, is equal to m dot get item and then i. All right. And then you want to do if item is equal equal to null, then continue. If item dot get type is equal equal to material dot uh, error, then continue. And I know you really don't have to put this, but this is just for extra precaution to make sure you know nothing can happen. And then what you want to do is you want to do uh, pretty much. So I'm just going to do um, int. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Pretty much what you want to do now is do uh, make a make a file manager object. So file manager fm is equal to file manager dot get instance up here. Then I also forgot implements listener up here. So now what I want to do is do fm.getconfig.set um, e.getplayer.getuniqueid.toString plus space that uh, double quotes dot plus space i and I want to set this to the item. Okay. And then um, yeah, so that that will save that for the next time I open it. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, new, actually I'm just going to go ahead and copy it from here, copy and paste this, okay, double click this, so the name is backpacks, uh, the main is me.creepkill21.backpacks.main, and then uh, this is a simple backpack plugin, and I know I need to register my events. I haven't done that and command and stuff. So backpack, and I'm going to show you aliases. So pretty much, you put aliases right here, and then I'm going to have BP and back, right? Which means I can type BP, and it will run this backpack command. Okay, so open your backpack. Okay. So now what I want to do is go back to my main and register everything. So I want to do get command uh, backpack dot set executor to new backpack command import backpack command and then I want to do bucket actually I want to probably register these events first get I mean it doesn't really matter but still um, dot oh my god no that's not what I want to do dot register events new player close env and then this all right and then i believe that's all we have uh, let me make sure this is backpack um let me make sure this is backpack Alrighty, everything looks good i'm going to go ahead and put this in my plugins folder and i will meet you guys there see you in a minute Alrighty, guys i have started my server up as you guys can see it loaded up right here and i'm going to refresh and join it right now now, as you can see, um, so pretty much, if I do slash backpack, wait, there was internal server error. Okay, so backpack command line 45, okay. Line 45, 45, 45. Oh, yeah, also, remember to put your file manager fm is equal file manager dot get instance. I forgot to do my fm dot set up this. Yep. My bad guys. Okay. So now I'm going to reload the server. Now if I do slash backpack, it'll open up here. Um, then as you guys can see it probably, it, actually I didn't put um, on your player close m. Yeah, I didn't put uh, fm dot save config. And then, yeah, that just came to me. That I didn't put that. Okay, so just go add those two little quick things here. And then all you have to do is just uh, so get some items. And I'm also going to show you that it works with different IDs. So as you guys can see, um, 
Uh, so I'm going to get stone and wool. Wool has a different ID, 35 colon 3, 35 colon 2, 1, 0, etc. So I'm going to do slash BP. As you guys can see, that's how the uh, thing works. Those are our aliases. So we have slash back, we have slash BP, and we have our original command slash backpack. I'm going to do slash backpack, put this in it and that in it, and then close. And then I am going to open up the, this right here. And as you guys can see, it saved these things, right? It saved it like this. Now if I were to do slash BP again, those two things would be in there. It's still the wool. This would also save lures, names, in, names of the items, if they're custom name. Custom, yeah, it, it saves all the attributes, basically. So, yeah, I hope this uh, helped you guys out. Don't remember to comment, rate, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out, guys.